For our first impressions video today, we are going back to the roads, but it's not just any ordinary road running shoe. Oh no, it is New Balance's latest go faster carbon plated speed machine, the Fuel Cell Elite V4. Now this shoe has gone through some big changes this time around with a completely redesigned midsole construction and a state of the art ultralight bonded phantom fit upper. So it's pretty much a brand new shoe from the ground up. Now definitely stay tuned to the run section of this video because we're gonna do something very different today when we test these shoes out. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the video. Welcome back folks, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. It's great to have you all back. So we've got a pretty fun packed video planned for you today, but more to come on that later. First of all, we're gonna give you a few stats about the new Elite V4 from New Balance. I'm also gonna break down this new construction in a bit more detail. Now, first up, uh, with it being a carbon plated race day shoe, you probably already realized it's not gonna be the the most affordable running shoe in the world. So they actually retail in the UK for a pretty hefty 260 pounds. Now don't be fooled by all that cushioning in the midsole because these have been designed to lace up on race day where every ounce and gram matters. Uh, my pair in a UK 10 tip the scales at 261 grams. So it's not the lightest race day shoe in the world, but a pretty good weight considering all that soft stuff we've got in the midsole. Uh, speaking of the stack height, you get a 40 mil height on the heel, so keeping it under those legal height requirements for racing. And we've got 36 mil under the forefoot, so giving the Fuel Cell Elite V4 a heel offset of four millimeters. The upper design is very similar to the upper on the brilliant Fuel Cell Rebel V4 that we actually reviewed recently on the channel. A New Balance call it their Phantom Fit Upper, and it incorporates this almost transparent, uh, very light and highly breathable mesh fabric just to keep that weight down to a bare minimum. And then it incorporates this sort of internal orange midfoot band that's gonna give that soft upper some structure and some substance. Uh, we've actually got a standard tongue design in the shoe, so no gusseted tongue, which I was pretty surprised about. And it is very thin in design, so there's no padding in it at all. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how comfortable those laces sit across the top of my foot and what kind of lockdown I get from the Elite V4s out on today's run. Again, very similar to the Rebel V4. We've got a moderate level of padding around that ankle collar and in the heel. And we've got that sort of low design on the heel cup itself. Uh, this was something I wasn't quite sure about before I ran in the Rebel V4s, but I really shouldn't have worried because the upper performed really well on the run and this felt really comfortable and very secure. We've got some big changes in the midsole compared to the previous version, the Fuel Cell Elite V3. So we still got a Fuel Cell midsole, but this time around it is made out of Piba. Now, if you're not familiar with Piba, it tends to be the cushioning of choice in most carbon plated race day shoes these days, including Nike's very popular Vaporfly and Alphafly Next Percent. So it really does have a sort of proven track record. It is extremely comfortable over distance and packed full of energy return. Now I pop these on at home just to test the sizing and I've got to say it, this midsole felt extremely bouncy. So very excited to test that out on today's run. Housed inside that super soft bouncy foam is a redesigned thinner carbon plate. And actually if I flip the shoe over, you can see that carbon fiber plate in the shoe through this strategically placed void in the midsole. The void and the plate form New Balance's Energy Arc technology. Now, the theory behind this is that that void allows you to increase the energy stored so the shoe can deliver more energy return. And you know, running shoes used to be such a simple thing years ago how times have changed. And then finally, New Balance have worked in this nice, efficient rocker geometry, and we've got a good helping of blown rubber in all the high wear areas, just to help when it comes to grip and durability. But there it is, the new Fuel Cell Elite V4 from New Balance. 
Now I said earlier that we were gonna do the run section of the video slightly differently today. And you know, we, we pride ourselves in doing things right here at the channel and testing things out thoroughly. And I thought with this being a, a go faster carbon plated running shoe, we really need to test it in the right environment. So we are going racing. So you join me down here in the stunning coastal town of Falmouth. The reason we're here is because we're going to be running and taking on the Falmouth Half Marathon. It's an awesome road race down here in Cornwall, one of my favourites, but it is super challenging with lots of ups and downs along the way. It's going to be a good test for my body, but also a great test for the fuel cell Elite V4. Okie dokie, so we have just gone through four miles, a pretty hilly four miles, but we got through them averaging 7.25 minute mile in. And uh, I tend to run half marathon sort of self-sufficient, so I've got a belt on, I'm carrying 250 mil of electrolyte, and I've got three gels with me. So just about to take the first one, I'll take the second one at about nine miles. And then I've got one spare just in case at the end, in case I need a lift, a bit of energy. As far as the shoes go, feeling good straight out of the box. And like I always say, I would always recommend going up half a size in a New Balance running shoe. So I've got these in a UK 10 and they're fitting just right on length. However, it does fit slightly differently to the Rebel V4. So I'd say it's a bit narrower in the toe box, a bit shallower at the midfoot. And it's giving me that nice, sort of precise racing fit. So, like I said, feeling good. Obviously, only four miles in, and we'll see how we get on at the end. But body's feeling good as well. So, we're gonna crack on. Let's check in at eight miles. Do you enjoy that hill now? Love it. Love it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Thank God that's over. First time I've ever oh. run all the way up. Oh, well done. <laughs> I was hanging on for dear life. Well done. Thank you, Andy. Oh, that was a tough hill. Yeah. Six miles done though. We're getting there. You only get this at Falmouth Half Marathon. Welcome to the woods. Okay, so the weather gods have been good to us today after a long spell of miserable weather. The sun's come out to play today and it's warming up nicely. Body feels good, feels like I'm recharging the batteries. I've forgotten how hilly this route is. I mean, it's a beautiful route, such a well-supported race. I think it's one of the most stunning road half marathons you can do in the UK. So if you've never run Falmouth Half, you definitely need to check it out. So. I'll leave a link to the race in the description below. So we've just gone through nine miles and we are averaging 7.35. So we are an hour and nine minutes in. Gonna take gel number two, but energy levels are feeling good. As far as the shoe goes, it's performing well. I'm loving that new fuel cell midsole with that Piba foam, super bouncy, high energy returning, very comfortable indeed. The rocket geometry also feels efficient, so hopefully it's going to save the legs and we can push on in the last two or three miles to the finish. But yeah, going really well. Good to be back out on the road racing. We have just gone through 12 miles, so 1.1 mile to go. Legs are still working good. We're what, averaging 7.29, so we've dipped in under 7.30. We've got one more hill to push up. And it's pretty much flat to the end. So we're gonna give it beans. 
in that last mile. Come on. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Here we go. We got it done. First road race of the year. What an awesome race. Amazing support. Come on. Thanks, guys. Oh my god. Road running is tough, man. We've even got people taking our chips off. It's a good job because I can't bend down. Congratulations. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Brilliant man. race. Brilliant Cheers. race. Hello, mate. Okay, so that is Falmouth half marathon completed. I've checked out my time. I think I crossed the line in about one hour, 37 minutes. So really chuffed with that because we took it pretty steady on the first half and then pushed on in the second half. Body felt good, shoes felt good, but let's get back to the studio and we're gonna wrap this video up with a quick conclusion. Well, that was a very successful morning at Falmouth Half Marathon. I always love running that challenging route. It really is a beautiful road half marathon route. And we finally got to run in some sunshine. It's been a long time, so that was amazing. We also got to meet lots of you guys. There was so much support for the channel there, which was awesome. You know, lots of people coming up and saying hi, which I love when we were at races. Uh, my body felt good, legs felt strong the whole way around. No issues, no niggles, and the the New Balance Fuel Cell Elite V4s performed really well. The first standout feature for me has to be this new Fuel Cell Piva foam in the midsole. It felt very comfortable over the 13.1 miles, but it also felt like it was returning really good levels of energy, like it should do in a super shoe. Uh, I think the race route today, really good testing ground for shoes like this because you can see on the footage there, it is a very hilly route. Although the cameras never really do the hills justice. So there were some very steep ups, but also some very long steep descents to deal with. And they really can beat the legs up, especially the quads. And my legs felt strong all the way around, really good, even sprinting to the finish line. So I think this new Piba foam in the midsole and New Balance's Energy Arc technology really helped to take the impact off of my muscle groups. Like I said, out on the route today, the Elite V4 does fit quite different when I compare them to the Rebel V4s. Even though they've both got this new Phantom Fit upper and they do look very similar. I think with these being a race day shoe, they definitely give you a bit more of a foot hugging fit. So we've got uh, less volume and, and width in the toe box and the midfoot is shallower, which actually worked really well for my foot shape and it locked down nicely. But if you do have a bit more width to your foot, just be aware that like most race day shoes, they do come up quite narrow. This almost transparent fabric used in the Phantom Fit Upper felt highly breathable out there today, which was good because like I said, we got to run in the sunshine. It was nice to feel some warmth. And you know, if you're from the UK and you're not familiar with the sun, that's that bright orange spherical object that sometimes appears in the sky here. But yeah, it was great to feel the warmth. And I think it really helped to give me some energy as I made my way around the route. At one point where we've had so much rain in the UK, the road was completely flooded. So I did have to run through a very long, deep puddle, which also helped to cool the feet down, but it did leave the shoe looking a bit grubby. It had pretty much rained all morning before the race and a lot of the route was on back roads. So they were quite sort of muddy and greasy. And this blown rubber outsole handled everything really well. Gave me great levels of grip. Even when I was running down those steep Deep, greasy descents, I had no issues at all. So lots of positives when it comes to the Fuel Cell Elite V4s and I actually think the Falmouth Half was a real thorough test for the shoes. The only thing I would say, like with a lot of super shoes that have a deep stack of very soft bouncy compound in the midsole and a carbon plate, uh, I did feel a little bit disconnected and a little bit unstable to begin with. 
It's actually been a long time since I've run in a shoe like this, so it just took me a few miles to get used to that feel again, and then once I was, it actually felt really good underfoot. And also, towards the end of the run, in the last couple of miles, I did have a bit of a hot spot forming on the heel of my right foot. Uh, it didn't turn into a blister or anything like that, but it felt like if I had to run another two or three miles, then it probably would have done. It's typical because before the start, I was actually speaking to a couple of friends and we were talking about heel rub from running shoes because they'd been having a couple of problems with their shoes and they just asked if I'd experienced anything like that. Uh, I've got to be honest, I cannot remember the last time I had a hot spot or a blister on my heel from a running shoe. So lesson learned today, I mustn't tempt fate. We've also got to remember it was a hilly half marathon straight out the box with a new shoe and I don't think running through that long deep puddle helped either. What is strange is the ankle collar and heel cup design looks pretty much identical to the Rebel V4s and I took that shoe out for a 13 mile run straight out of the box and I didn't have any issues at all. So there you have it folks, my first impression of New Balance's latest carbon plated racer, the Fuel Cell Elite V4s and how it performed on the streets of Falmouth in the half marathon. Uh, I'd definitely rank it up there with the brilliant Saucony Endorphin Pro 3. I've just actually got the Pro 4 so we'll be testing them out on the channel soon and Nike's awesome vapor fly next percent so if you're in the market for a go faster carbon plated shoe then i think the elite v4s are worth a closer look really hope you enjoyed coming along on the falmouth half marathon route today also i really hope you found the video helpful i've got to say a massive shout out to all the marshals all the support it was amazing out there today the atmosphere was great and it really helped give you some energy when you're pushing up those steep hills uh, don't forget if you did enjoy the video and you found it helpful to like comment share and subscribe but for now guys thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel it really is appreciated we'll be back here very very soon and as always stay safe and keep on running Great, man. Yeah. You, can't, you can't run any of the hills i mean you can't walk out on good areas you can't walk any of the hills Got to run them. We've got some big changes made to the midsole compared to the previous version, the Fuel Cell Elite V3. So we've got a Fuel Cell midsole made from Piba. Now, if you're not familiar with the Piba, with the with the Piba, Justin Piba.